Hi folks, I'm Mr. Fullerton. Today let's talk about resistance and resistivity. Our objectives are going to be to define conductivity, resistivity, and resistance, and explain the factors and calculate the resistance of a conductor. So, electrical charges can move freely in some materials, we call those conductors, and less freely in other materials, which we call insulators. How easily the charges move in a material is known as the material's conductivity, which is given the Greek letter sigma. And the conductivity of a material really depends on two things. It depends on the density of free charges and on the mobility of those charges. Having said that, a material's ability to resist the flow of electric charge is known as resistivity. We give that the Greek symbol rho. And resistivity and conductivity are closely related. They're inverses of each other. Resistivity is 1 divided by conductivity. Or conductivity is also equal to 1 over resistivity. The units of resistivity are ohms times meters. And we give ohms the Greek symbol omega. So ohm meters are the symbols of resistivity. And another factor we've got to take into account is resistivity isn't absolutely constant for all materials. Typically, as temperature goes up, you see a shift in resistivity toward higher and higher levels. So temperature goes up, usually resistivity goes up. Now, when we talk about resistivity, that's really a material property of an object. If we want to make something functional, if we want to make a resistor, an object that's designed to resist the flow of electric current, we need to take into account how we build it, what shape it has. This we call resistance, an object's ability to resist the flow of charge. And that depends on its shape and its resistivity. And by shape, we really mean its geometry. So if we consider something like a cylindrical resistor, and we'll attach wires to each end. We have the length of the resistor. The longer the length, the more resistance. Think of it almost as a pipe carrying water. The longer the pipe, the more resistance there's going to be. And the bigger the area, the less resistance. If you have a big, fat pipe, you'll have a lot less resistance than if you have a small, thin pipe. Same thing with resistors. So resistance in ohms is resistivity rho times the length in meters divided by the cross-sectional area of that resistor. And the units are ohms with the Greek symbol omega. Let's see if we can't put this into practice. A 3.5 meter length of wire with a cross-sectional area of 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6 square meters at 20 degrees Celsius has a resistance of 0.0625 ohms. Find the resistivity of the wire. Well, we'll start with our formula. Resistance equals resistivity times length over area. And we want to find resistivity. So that implies that resistivity equals resistance times area over length. Or 0.0625 ohms times 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared over 3.5 meters which gives me a total resistivity of 5.6 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. All right, let's take a look at another one. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit more qualitative. The electrical resistance of a metallic conductor is inversely proportional to its well, my guide to thinking here, if I'm looking for electrical resistance of a conductor, is R equals rho L over A. So which one of these is going to be inversely proportional? Well, if we can find something relating to area, like number three, cross-sectional area. There we go. That must be our answer. Here we have a table of resistivities at 20 degrees Celsius for different materials. It says, at 20 degrees C, four conducting wires made of different materials have the same length and the same diameter, which has the least resistance. So if they all have the same length and same diameter, diameter if we're looking for resistance, that's rho L over A. Same length and diameter means that's the same in all of them. The only thing that changes is resistivity. So if we want the least resistance, we want the least resistivity. That must be our smallest resistivity from the table which in this case is going to be gold, number 2, 2.44 times 10 to the minus 8. 
Now we have a length of copper wire and a one meter long silver wire with the same cross-sectional area and resistance. Calculate the length of the copper wire. Well, if their resistances are the same, that means R is the same for both objects. That means rho L over A for copper must be equal to rho L over A for silver. So, if I expand that out, rho for copper, length of the copper, over the area of the copper must equal rho for silver, length for silver, over the cross-sectional area of the silver. And we also know they have the same cross-sectional area. So if they have the same cross-sectional area, we can multiply both of these by cross-sectional area and eliminate that from our equation, leaving us with rho for copper, length for copper, must equal rho silver, length for silver. And what we're looking for is the length of the copper, so let's solve this equation for length of copper must be rho for silver, length of the silver over rho for copper, or when I plug in, plug in my numbers, 1.59 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters for the resistivity of silver times the length, 1 meter, over the resistivity of copper, 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters from our chart, and I come up with about 0 0.924 meters for the length of the copper wire. A little bit more involved problem there, but as you walk through it, you should be able to use substitution and the ratios in order to solve this. Let's take a look at one last problem here. A 10 meter length of copper wire is at 20 degrees C. That means we can use our table over here. The radius of the wire is 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meter. Determine the cross-sectional area and the resistance of the wire. All right, if we start with the area, that's going to be the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, which is going to be pi times 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared, or area equals 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6 square meters. Now let's find the resistance of the wire. R equals rho L over A. We know it's a copper wire so we can look up its resistivity is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. Its length is 10 meters and we just found its cross-sectional area, 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6 square meters. Put all that into my calculator, and I come up with a value of about 5.5 times 10 to the minus 2 ohms. All right. Well, that should get you started on resistance and resistivity. If you have any questions need more help, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks for your time, and make it a tremendous day.